All right, so with this exercise, we're gonna work on um, working towards keeping a neutral spine as we work into hip flexion. So if we're trying to restore that hip flexion, which is the bending that happens at your hip when you're squatting, um, we're um, really trying to get into that position without compensating through that lower back with some rounding of the lower back. Um, so it's a good way to help to restore that range of motion in your hip, but also to work on, like if you have an excessive butt link and working on controlling that um, movement in the um, bottom of your squat. Um, so what we're gonna do is just start in a quadruped position. So on all fours, um, and you wanna start with your hips um, kind of in front of your knees. And then from there, we're gonna Brace just like you're doing a squat. So brace your abdominals. Try to get into that good position for your lower back and spine. And then from there, we're just gonna rock into where you should feel a little bit of a um, compression in the front of your hip. Um, if you have some anterior hip pain, you might feel a little bit of a pinch. We're gonna kind of stay a little short of that. And then we're gonna come back out of it. So trying to keep that back nice and flat, really trying to control into that movement and getting comfortable with where that range of motion is. So typically what will happen if you go past where you feel that tightness in your hip, which for me, I start to feel it right about there, is you'll start to round that lower back to get further into more of like a traditional child's pose position. That's not what we're going for. So we want to just go to that point where you feel that tightness, bracing those abs into that position. Maybe a little gentle hold there for 10 seconds or so, and then come back out of it.